what is up good morning well good morning for me i it is 6 46 right now literally super early um but i had to come to my infusion today is infusion day so i have rheumatoid arthritis sorry the lighting is like super terrible unless i got like sit like this but that would be weird um but I have rheumatoid arthritis, so I get monthly infusions. So I come to my doctor's office, has an infusion center attached to it. It's like combined in one. And I come every single month to get my infusion. And today is the day which I am so happy about because I have been flaring up for the past like week and a half and it's been not the funnest so i'm really glad it's infusion day yesterday rained really 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 bad so um thankfully i feel a little bit better today which makes me happy because um that means that i'm gonna get my infusion and i'm not gonna get like super sick i was really concerned that i was gonna flare up even more but thankfully that's not gonna be the case at least i would hope so so today's infusion day i just wanted to kick off the vlog because i'm gonna get down here in a little bit and go get my infusion and today's gonna be pretty much pretty relaxing we don't have much planned all i have to do is work obviously um i have i'm off until a 9 30 i'm off for the first two hours and then i clock in start work and after work we are we have some errands to run and i'll bring you all along with that and i think we're gonna go have a nice dinner somewhere maybe not like a fancy dinner but like a dinner somewhere so i'll bring you all along for that so i just wanted to kick off the vlog say hi um if you're new here i hope you consider staying and subscribing um and yeah we just do planner and a little bit of vlog so i will talk to you later bye okay it's time for starbucks i finished my infusion so now i have like a bandage on my infusion on my arm it, they always put it on so tight and it's like ow my circulation but um it makes sense because you gotta stop the bleeding but anyways i'm in the line for starbucks it is currently 8 18 i have like an hour to well like i start work at 9 30 i believe and the line is looking like this so i'm debating if i should just go home but i feel like i can make it just on time i don't know it just seems like it hasn't even been moving i've been stuck here for the last like five ish minutes but oh well i'm gonna give it another 10 if it doesn't move then i'll probably head on home because i can't be late but yeah well i hope they're okay they look okay though but anyways, we are headed home. Excuse my mess, but I'm gonna show you. I have coffee, I have a chai tea latte for Matthew, and um, I got me a matcha, so I'm excited. I always get the matcha, I get a grande, because I feel like a venti is too big, but I get a grande um, matcha with um, sweetener, and I just get the classic sweetener because it's just what tastes better to me. I don't like adding vanilla or anything like that, but should be home in a couple of minutes and oh i start work and so right now it's 8 39 yeah 8 39 and i start work at 9 30 so in like 40 minutes i feel like my infusion took a little bit longer um it was weird sorry for the shakiness but i feel like it took a little bit longer but it's okay at least i got coffee and we're gonna be home in a little bit so i will talk to y'all when i get home Right, so I am home yay I got my matcha latte which what the heck did they do oh my gosh I need a napkin what a situation that is really gross I didn't even notice what happened here it looks like okay it looks like it's just coffee <laughs> you want to see how gross it is they put coffee they had coffee stained at the bottom of the cup and I was like what is that but anyways I am home finally, finally, finally. I left my house. It had to be like 6.40 or something. And I went to my infusion, which was at 7.30. Got there like tw like 20, 15 minutes earlier. About It was like about 15 minutes earlier. Started my infusion. My infusion, I feel like, took a little bit longer than usual, oddly enough. And um, usually I get home a little bit earlier. But it could have been because I got us coffee. 
um but that's okay i mean at least it'll bring some joy in the day matthew was really excited about his um chai tea latte and now we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs and get started with work so yeah i already kicked off the vlog but this is just gonna be a day in the life it's gonna be a pretty normal day so it's gonna be very basic i don't know <laughs> i don't know how else to explain it other than i got work today i start work in about 40 minutes and then i'm gonna go ahead and so i have work probably lunch at around 11 15 11 30 and then after work we're supposed to run some errands and probably grab a bite to eat so that is the plan but anyways i hope you will stay for the entire day it's just gonna be pretty relaxing but anyways i'll bring you along for it so cheers hey guys so i do this every so often where i bring my computer downstairs and work from downstairs for a little bit so i just have a vlog going on right now because i start work in 30 minutes so i still have some time so i'm just watching the videos have my planner some matcha and my water so oh and also my phone obviously but yeah i'm gonna drink this matcha i have 30 minutes for work before work and i'm gonna watch a vlog so yay watching laura diy i love her her stuff is so fun so it's lunchtime and Matthew has me watching the Try Guys. I'm eating meatball soup and Matthew is eating that. <laughs> That's what we have going on. <laughs> yeah, I had bought those little mini pepperonis for zucchini and then I never made them. So Matthew's going to eat them with some crackers. So that's what we got going on. I have a 30 minute lunch and then it's back to work. My computer's charging upstairs right now. And then um, I'll go grab it during my, right before my lunch is over and get back to work upstairs. I mean, downstairs. Yeah, whatever. Hey guys, it's break time. So I'm just hanging out. Um... I swear I usually I usually whenever I work start my work downstairs or I come downstairs at some point like I'll change the scenery like every so often so that means like I'll either work from downstairs and then eventually head upstairs back to my office during like midday or whatever like after my lunch and today i haven't done that i've just stayed down here um i have been enjoying it so much it's just been like a relaxing day a very good day i feel like it started positive and i'm trying to keep it positive so hopefully it stays that way but yeah i just wanted to update you all i'm on lunch right now i made me a coffee but i set it off to the side right over here so that Okay, so I hope that was recording. If not, I'm on break and I've been hanging out watching TV, um, watching YouTube videos. But anyways, on my to-do list is to vacuum, clean the kitchen. Like, I need a vacuum, sweep. I thought about mopping, but maybe another day I can probably swifter and get away with that. And then um, one thing that I have, have, have to do, whether it be today, tomorrow, Friday, whatever, is... Um, clean the microwave i think we might have made like soup like a campbell soup or something and it's a mess in there so that needs to be clean so badly um it's like it's disgusting so that is on my to-do list how do y'all feel about like cleaning videos it's something that i've always thought about doing is just having like a clean with me day like just you know let me get my chores done and maybe like quick and simple but um I can like get motivated to do it and actually complete the task if I record it. Do y'all, would y'all like that? I feel like that would be fun. But anyways, I am on my break. So I'm just going to chill here for a little bit and get back to work in the next, I think it's usually like 15 minutes, but right now I only have 11 minutes left. So that is the situation. Just thought I'd update you all. I didn't even like update that I got off of work, but we made it to the at t center. Our first place. Well, we actually stopped at Matthew's parents and went to a food truck to pick up some food, and now we're here. What are we picking up, Matthew? Uh, Dijon Kimberry bobbleheads, even though he just got traded three minutes ago. <laughs> cool. It's so weird to be here when there's no game. It's so quiet, it's so awkward. But yay! Pretty cute. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. And it's Duncan. It's nice and fast. Can I see the how it looks? Well, can you turn it around? 
this is what it looks like. Well, kind of, because you can't see it because it's in a bag. But he's now... Who did he get traded for? The Hawks. Where are the Hawks from? Atlanta. He got traded for Atlanta. <sighs> he's going to miss us. Yay. I literally came to this dollar section or this store just because this dollar section is always popping. And this is what I wanted. I'm gonna use it for skincare. I think it's a genius idea. I'm so excited. Hey guys, so we just got back from Target. Well, we ran a couple errands. I took y'all along. I kind of showed y'all where we went to pick up the bobbleheads, right? That's what we picked up. Um, and we were at the at and Center, and then from there, we were supposed to go out to eat, but since we stopped, we stopped at this, what was it, like a food truck? Matthew's not talking because he's camera shy, but we stopped at a food truck, and it was, um, like a, would it be called a fundraiser? No, it was, so he's a TikToker. I believe Matthew would know more but he doesn't want to talk <laughs> but he's a TikToker and his wife is um, going through um, is it chemotherapy yeah she's going through chemotherapy and so he was selling burgers for ten dollars and they were located they were parked really close to his parents house close to Matthew's parents house so we went to Matthew's parents Went to the food truck, bought some burgers, and then we went to the AT&T Center. So we already had food, so we figured why not just stop at Target and eat what we bought. And so that was what happened, and we bought a few things at Target. Started off with this really good deal that I got. I bought this thing. Um, it was supposed to be for, I want it for my skincare products and like some of the like makeup essentials that I keep in my restroom. So I wanted to keep it a little bit more organized and I like that it's tiered because um, I can actually store more in the little area that we have. We don't have a lot of counter space storage in our restroom so I wanted something for my skincare stuff and I think it'll look nice in there and it was actually on sale it was originally five dollars and it was on sale for 250 so that was a good deal I didn't even know it was 250 until we checked out but anyways we also got other stuff like ice cream what else did you get snacks some chai chai latte chai latte and ice cream that was it, I think. I don't know. But anyways, I bought this for my nephew. It's so cute. He's like obsessed with Mickey Mouse. So it was in the um, bullseye section. So it was $3. So that is a great deal. And I think he's going to love it. He's been really into hats lately. And I think he'll enjoy that. And then I'll show you all that along with the other stuff. We also got him some Hot Wheels. Um, we got him like a racetrack um at the dollar store and he needed some better hot wheels well we haven't given him the racetrack just yet we just bought it this past weekend so we figured next time we see him he may he'll be able to enjoy these and this one's pretty cool it actually um you can put bubbles in it and when you put it in the racetrack or actually like i don't know play with it um it'll blow bubbles at least that's what it's supposed to do so we'll see how well that works i'll update you all and this one Matthew picked out. It's pretty cool looking. I'm sure he will love it. And then the other two things that we got are for my niece. They're twins, a boy and a girl. And um, we bought her a baby doll. She's so cute. I love her so much. Um, I think I'm going to love this doll more than my niece is. <laughs> but that's okay. And then I got her these um, bottles. It's a juice and a milk. And it's really cool because it actually moves. So when you are um, feeding the baby, it'll look like she's actually drinking it. That is adorable. I used to actually have some of these when I was little. Um, I remember I dragged my mom everywhere. We went all over town to try to find the little bottles that had actual liquid inside of them. And where we found them was at a big lot. And they were small. They were obviously like not this big, but they were, I think they had to be like, two dollars at that time but obviously this was years ago but anyways we bought this for her and i hope 
I think she'll like it, but I hope she she will because I'm not sure. This will be her first doll, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she has three brothers, and she's the only girl. So yeah, um, I don't know. We'll see if she likes it, but we figured. I figured I would get her something cute and girly for her, and a baby doll is one of those things. But anyways, I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. We have nothing else to do. We're gonna watch Master Pancake on Twitch. Uh, Master Pancake is like, what is it, like Mystery Science Theater? And so they like mock movies while they're being played and they'll like jokes and I don't know, it's a really good I don't know, thing that they do. I don't even know what to call it. It's been going on for years and ever since the pandemic, they've been streaming on Twitch. So we're gonna go ahead and watch that. They're gonna be streaming the, what is it called? The Mall Cop or something? Sudden Death. <laughs> Sudden Death. I thought you said the Mall Cop. No, it's John claude Van Damme playing a hockey cop. A oh, hockey cop. Okay, that's why it's the XFL? Wait, that's the, never mind. Never mind. Besides the point, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here so I can edit this and upload this for tomorrow. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to watch more of my videos, please subscribe. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.